Okay, folks, um, I'm going to show you how to um, open a port in the um, Bell Hub 3000. Uh, it's kind of complicated, uh, but I think um, we got an easy way to do it right now. Um, so um, your default IP address is 192.168.2.1, but if you change it to something else, then that's what you need to know. Uh, but if you'd never change the IP address on the um, Hub 3000, you could uh, start with 192.168.2.1. Uh, uh, you could type it right in this address bar. Uh, so in my case, it's like a 0 0.1, so that's what I have it there. Uh, so once you have it, then you have uh, the screen. Then you go um, log in. Actually, I'm already logged in. So, but if you have to log in, you got to click in here. So um, I think the um, uh, their default password is admin. So you could use that to log in. Um, I could quickly show you real quick. Um, log in here. So put your default pad password. So this this screen will pop up. So now you go to advanced tools. Then uh, once you go to the advanced tool, you got a bunch of different options, but in, in your case, you need to um, click on port forwarding. So here I set up a couple different ports. Um, so in my case, I'm using camera, so I need to open uh, port 410, sorry, 40, or 4010 and 4011. So simply you could click on create new rules. So once you click that, you have this. So you could type in any name you could remember. For example, in my case, I type in as a camera. So um, then I, I, I prefer if you know which port to select, you could select that port. I would leave it in both so you, you don't have to really select it. Uh, then uh, let's say you need to open 4010. So you type in 4010 there like a 4010, then do the same thing here as well, 4010, 4010. So now uh, you need to know your computer IP address, where your camera server is. So now in my case, um, whatever that, um, you type in that address, uh, which is, um, anyway, um, um, so yeah, you just gotta type in your computer IP address here. So once you type that in, you click create, okay? Once you create, create it will ask you to save it. So uh, once you save, uh, in my case here anyway, once you click save, it will go through the saving process. Then it will say, okay, everything is saved, close. So now uh, you come back to uh, another website. You could open this and you could type in uh, can you see me dot org you can see it right here can you see me dot org so now um, once you uh, go to that browser or go to that page it will um, show you your external IP address okay that uh, that uh, so here in my case is 70.48.210.160 so whatever your uh, IP address that will show you on that uh, on that column so now um, under the port check, we just open 4010. So you type in 4010, um, then you go port check, then it will come back and say success. So this will tell you, you have that particular port is open. So in this case, 4010. So you could do the same thing for 4011 if you want it or 80. So um, that's pretty much it. But if you call Bell, they won't be able to help you. So um, the only way you got to either figure it out or, um, yeah, they, they won't support this uh, port forwarding.